so I came across an interesting video that in basically AMD has stolen a lot of market share from Intel and um, I want to share a video and I want to share my thoughts on it so Linus he's the one that introduces the news so this news was just recent this came out on October 5th but you guys when you're watching this this would be on the weekend this would be on October 11th when you are watching this video so I'm gonna play a little bit of the video and then we're gonna talk more about it after so let's begin As you can see, AMD has stolen a big chunk of AMD's market share. And if you are not aware, Steam has about 90 million active users, 1 billion accounts. But if you click on this link, most of those accounts are like bots to basically attack Steam servers. So th these are not full accounts, but they are, there is 90 million active users every single for per month on steam and you know that's big that's big so almost everybody has a computer basically has steam so if we take our calculator and we do let's because linus was talking about a three percent uh market share so basically if you take 90 million 90 million units that occur that 90 million computers I guess you times that by uh, 0 0.03 3% 2.7 million so in from the month of May to October which is about maybe like yeah October which is about five months they basically managed to sell 2.7 million CPUs to the PC market that is showing Huge growth, and now now Zen three is coming out, and all the PC enthusiasts are going to be like, you know what? I want to get my Zen three instead of Intel. I mean, yeah, there are people who are going to be loyal to Intel because they're used to it. They're like, oh, I've been buying Intel all my life. I'm gonna stick with my Intel, of course. But most gamers are looking for performance, and if AMD kicks Intel's butt in a big way, in a big way, like no competition, big way, a lot of people are going to convert from Intel to AMD. And AMD is going to make a ton of money off the Zen 3 architecture. And uh, I'm very bullish on AMD with their new architecture. There's so many CPUs out there. And then when they come out with the Zen 3 laptops, oh man, I might be a buyer of the Zen 3 laptops, but we'll see what happens. We'll see where the performance go, but I'm very, very excited to see where AMD is taking uh, the CPU market, uh, how AMD is stealing a lot of market share from Intel, and I bet you Zen 3 is also going to steal a lot of market share from their server, uh, so it's very exciting, very, very exciting. So anyways, let's uh, talk about AMD. like. If you little history about myself, oh no, okay, not Max, not Max. So basically, I bought AMD right here around two dollars and seventy cents. I went, essentially went all in on AMD. I had about fifty thousand shares. On well, right here I had about forty thousand shares, and then the stock popped. No, wait, no, over here. So this was back. Yeah, no, no, this was back in two thousand thirteen. So I bought AMD around two dollars and something cents, and then the stock popped to around four dollars, and I was so happy because I doubled my money. Uh, I almost doubled my money, and I was just um, I, I was so happy because I had so much invested into AMD at the time. And then what happened? 
AMD fell back flat to $2.30, $1.79. I've done a lot of research into AMD because I was so heavily invested in AMD that I I saw this and I was like, you know what? I, I, I'm going to gamble that they're going to succeed long term. And I, and I also had thoughts of them completely destroying Intel. And it's coming true. Five years later, it's coming true. At the end of 2020, AMD is going to destroy Intel in the CPU market. And they're going to be extremely competitive with NVIDIA in the GPU market. If the market doesn't crash and after the presidential election is over, AMD could potentially be a $200 stock in the future if uh, they can steal a lot of mindshare away from NVIDIA and be a dominant player in both the CPU and the GPU market and steal market share from both companies, I can easily see AMD becoming a $200 plus dollar stock, you know, couple years down the road if the market doesn't crash, if the stock market doesn't crash. So, you know, it could, the market could crash and I could totally be wrong, but if it doesn't crash, I see AMD at $200 per share in the future, especially if they can steal market share from both AMD and Nvidia, sorry, not Intel and Nvidia in the future. Will it happen? I hope so. I'm rooting for AMD. I'm rooting for the underdog. I want to see the underdog become the dominant player in the market. It will make me proud as, you know, I was a shareholder and I always wanted AMD to be a winner. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I hope you, okay, I only got to last another minute. So yeah. So let's talk a little bit about GameStop. Uh, just to kill off some time, uh, GameStop, I was so bullish on GameStop around $4. Was so bullish. I was like, "Oh, the consoles are going to help a uh, GameStop skyrocket to like at least ten dollars." And it went and and when I saw the X, uh, the new PlayStation Digital and the Xbox Digital, I was like, "Okay, GameStop long term is over." And I sold out. And then Ryan Cohen came in, saw uh, that. GameStop was undervalued on a balance sheet perspective and thinks that he can change the company internally and invested into the company and is actively involved in changing the company into a mini Amazon in the future. If he is successful, GameStop can easily be $100 per share in the future. I don't know if he'll be successful, but I wouldn't, you know, Ryan Cohan is a self-made billionaire. Oh no, he's not a billionaire yet. He... He's like super rich, almost a billionaire. So if GameStop delivers on, if he can deliver on GameStop, I think he can become a billionaire. If, if GameStop, if he can make GameStop $100 uh, per share, he will become a billionaire because he owns 10% of the company and at $100 that would evaluate his position as almost a billion dollars and Ryan Cohan will become a billionaire if he can make GameStop $100 per share. We'll see if that happens. I'm bullish on GameStop. And if it goes back to $4, I could, I'm, I'm, I have to buy in. I have to buy in. I'm just that bullish on it. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe for future updates. And I hope everyone has a great day. Bye.